Ladies and gentlemen, all my top altcoins that I talked about quite recently in my which AI coins am I buying video are up a lot. I believe in that video we talked about injective as it was at $19. Yeah, just to confirm I checked back and it's interesting to me how well these AI coins are holding up even though Bitcoin is a lot more uncertain right now. And that leads me to the next point. For the next run, I'm focusing on a couple of different sectors that I want you guys to really research thoroughly because there's going to be millions to be made. And so if you appreciate these update videos, make sure you go ahead and press that like button. And let me talk about my favorite sectors. So first off is AI. It's a very logical one because obviously AI has been a very big hyped up sector and crypto plus AI, two of these keywords that every new investor likes to hear about. And I just made a video about some of my top coins. But just to remind you, I'm pretty bullish on injective, render, fetch. Paul has been doing nice, but unfortunately, I was a little bit too late to buy that one. So I kind of have like a personal dislike against it for that reason. But there's a lot of hype and a big community around it. RSS3, just a couple of coins to look into for yourself. Chain GPT has been on a very nice tangent. But generally, the entire sector, I think, will blow up by at least, I'm going to say 20x over the next couple of years. So it's very hard to go wrong here. Make sure you take a little bit of time to look over what these coins do. And how you go about that is you press the coin. And very often on coin market cap, there is a little section at the top right here, which says about and that you can read a little bit into what they aim to do. And it's just nice to get a little bit of an understanding what differentiates the one crypto and the next one, which brings us to my second category that I think will absolutely blow up this next run. And funny enough, there's going to be a lot of overlap here. Because we're talking about gaming cryptos and very often these AI big data cryptos and gaming can have some sort of overlap depending of course on which echelons of AI or which echelons of this gaming term you're looking into. You can see we see render in this list again. A couple of additional good contenders to look into are Beam. One of the best performers of the last run is Illuvium. One of the coins we're going to talk about more in just a second has to do with... Well, you'll see it. It's Cedify. Big time has been getting a big time hype everywhere. Even though I'm not a very big holder, I see this name everywhere, which means they've either got the marketing or their community on lock. Miria is something I am pretty excited about myself. The thing with gaming cryptos is, though, you're going to have to see where the best communities lie as the bull market starts to pick up, as it's very hard to know if coins gaming coins that were here last run are going to be forming be performing as amazing again the next run like with platformers you know your ethereum or solana these things games just keep getting better and very often people are looking from the one to the next not to get back to their old one or they're looking for the new big gaming title and so what i'm mostly looking into when it comes to gaming is new launches Whenever big studios, big hype is around a new game that's launching, those are the ones I'm going to be focusing on. And I've got some holdings in these older games because I do believe they will recover. And that's still a 10x on most of these cryptos. Again, look in here right in this section. You can see just how far down most of these projects are. Gala is down 96%. Uh, Illuvium is down 97 And so it's definitely worth, in my opinion, stacking up some. But that brings us to category number three, which Cedify also falls under. Before I move on, though, make sure you join my Telegram. It's absolutely free. And every now and then I just let go of some cool or important updates. And I'll try to post in there every single time I upload a video as well. So you guys are certain to get a notification. And before I dive into all these different cryptos, I warn you as well. If you've not got your notification bell on, you might be missing out on a ton of profit. Because there will be different coins that you've got to act. Ah. What? fast on and so if you're not watching this video within the first few hours you might completely miss out at the end of the video i'll also let go of a couple of coins i'm watching this week and if they fail they fail but i do believe they've got some good potential just like how we're, we're extremely right with inspect 
How much did that do? A 30x? I do believe these coins have got some good potential. Not certain, but good potential. And just watch to the end to see that. But the second or third sector is launchpad tokens. I've described this to you guys a thousand times by now, but any of these coins, if you, this is my honest, dusty speaking here. If you go all in, there's a good chance you're gonna make a crazy amount of money, but it's, it's, it's gonna be very volatile. And these are not coins like gaming that could go up every single day forever, basically for the entirety of the bull run. These will have ups and downs even in peak bull run season. And that's because you buy these tokens to be eligible to turn, sorry, I'd say to invest into pre-sales. Pre-sales are the most lucrative thing in crypto because you're buying a coin before it hits the market. Uh, they're risky, but if they've got a good backing, very often it's a no-brainer. But the difficult part is to be able to buy in, and these launch paths through you holding their token give you access to it. And a couple of the ones I personally have, well, I have most of these, but you understand the ones that I'm most involved with is Seedify, Paid, I, I was just having dinner with these guys a couple days ago, and I get comments all the time of people asking me, hey Dusty, what do you think about Decubate? Love these guys, they're pretty cool peoples. AI pad, or this pad, or that pad. AI pad, I had the opportunity to invest in early, but I didn't. One of the biggest mistakes uh, for my investment career. Ada pad, Velis pad, the thing is, they will probably, ETH pad, all do well over the next couple of months. Uh, same thing for, oh. Same thing for your V-Launch, same thing for your Engine Starter, even Moon Starter. Uh, the problem is you don't know which chain is gonna have the most interesting of launches the next run, uh, which is why diversification here is quite nice. And you don't know which of these launch pads is gonna have access to the best new coins. Because Cedify is, for example, very much focused on gaming and super, uh, but others might be fully focused on infrastructure or they might be focused on some different sector. One of the new launch pads that's uh, up and coming is Ape Terminal. And again, right now they don't have a full program or token yet, but I think it's coming at some point. And if it is, I'll talk more to you about it, but that's definitely one to watch because I think the token itself will do extremely well. And the launch pad is doing pretty well right now. And once more, this is the type of video not a lot of people make, but these are the sectors that will make the most amount of money. Not guaranteed, but I'm 99.8% certain. And similarly, I'm talking here about Ordi, Sats, all these different stupid ass things. The reason I'm saying stupid is because right now people are just making them because they know it makes money. It's as simple as that. A lot of these things have got no proper usage and mean nothing in the grand scheme of things, but they're pumping because the ecosystem is hot. And that's my best tip here. BRC related tokens, things built on Bitcoin, they're extremely undervalued. Um, for where they're going to be over the next, yeah, I'm gonna say year or so. Most of these coins still has potential to do a 20x, 30, 50x, 100x even. Uh, but I do believe just a couple of big providers, a couple of big platformers, a couple of big yada yadas are gonna enter this space and just absolutely blow it out of proportion. I know right now there's three of them in the top 1,000, but that's most likely gonna be a lot more over the next few months with again, massive amount of money to be made for the people that are stepping in early, especially if Bitcoin continues on this tangent, continues on performing pretty nice in the bull market, this sector is gonna absolutely blow up. And I don't mind, guys, I don't mind buying coins that are already up, for example. 40% up in a day is a little bit much, but that's because this is gonna just continue on. It's hype on top of hype on top of hype. Do not sleep on this sector. Again, tenfold is like a minimum. I do believe it can still yeah, do at least a 100-fold over the next two years because right now it's just $2.4 billion. Yeah, and I think it could actually get to a trillion in a couple of years. But as a low point, we're going to say $200 billion over the next year and a half. I personally think closer to $600 billion, meaning this whole space is going to Go by a nice little 300x. And then my last sector, I don't want to spend too much time on because I'm not a big fan of it, but hey, if there's money to be made, I'll talk about it. I would name Avalanche if I didn't already talk about gaming. It's just that Avalanche in the gaming scape is a pretty big platformer, but it's still gaming. No, I'd have to say another form of gaming, which I do believe is quite separate, and that is this one right here. I don't want to name it out loud. I don't like uh, talking about that over on the YouTubes, but the truth being, I do believe it's going to absolutely pop off. And a lot of the coins I've invested into or have looked at have done pretty well over time, and I do believe that's going to continue. Again, I think the majority of the money is in new platforms launching, not necessarily in some of these old ones. I don't know, 
95% of these coins right here. And I do believe, again, it's going to be a very volatile sector. But we all know a lot of money goes around in that. And because I didn't want to name it, a last, last one as an honorable mention has got to be real world asset tokenization. Since crypto is getting those vouchers from the likes of BlackRock and Google, etc., we know tons of money is going to enter this space. And you've got to understand that real world assets tokenized make it easier for these traditionally illiquid assets to now become more liquid or generate a yield that can be spread out around the world more, leading a lot of investors to go away from their traditional means of investing onto the blockchain because now, for example, providers that would usually be blocked by banks because of restrictions and issues, right now have got the decentralized finance within their fingertips, meaning as long as the risk management is, doing, is done properly, there's a lot higher of a yield and things are pretty transparent. So I think it's gonna absolutely blow up. The only question is, you know, which of these? That's a lot more difficult. All, almost all of these I know, almost all of these have got some good potential. Some of these I've been holding for a long while. And the thing is, yeah, most of these, I can't say have got that spark in their eyes. I, I think the, the next big real world asset project still has to launch because I do believe it's gonna either be one of the ones we just saw in that list making the craziest partnership with a massive real world asset company. So like, a, for example, a real estate company or whatever. But I do believe it's going to be a, a partnership that's going to be all along the news everywhere or a new, already well-known developer or, you know, I'm talking property developer, something along those lines, just going for tokenization on their own platform. But we're going to have to see about that. This one is all about partnership, all about connections. Not about the platform itself. It doesn't matter that much. It's about who can they get on. What type of yield can they provide? How are they solving this illiquidity or I guess liquidity issue, liquidity crunch? And yeah, those are my next top sectors that I think will absolutely blow up over the next year or two. I think most money is going to be made in these different things. So read up well if you want to become a freaking bazillionaire. No, really, realistically, many people will turn $10,000 into a million. I put that as the baseline. The more money you're going with, I think the lower the return is going to be. I think a lot of people starting out with 1 million can turn it into 20, 30. And if you're starting from the big leagues, again, I think people with 10 million might be able to turn it into 50, 60. <laughs> you know, one can turn it into 20, 30, 10 into 50, 60. First of all, your risk management is going to be significantly different. And second of all, the law of diminishing returns. It's way easier to turn 1,000 into 50,000 because uh, I even showed it to you guys last month, or I should say the last couple of days, how we turned 1,000 into 90,000. Do that with a million bucks though, it's significantly more difficult, but it still will be done. On this channel, I'll show you. Perhaps we'll do a million to 10 million challenge. I'm not sure yet because the only thing you've got to do is just buy altcoins hard and get a bull run going. It's just not that difficult. But hey, stick around for the channel and tomorrow, no, even later today, we'll be back with another crypto update. I almost forgot. I promised I was going to show you a couple of coins I'm looking into. These are all pretty short term, but IT I'm looking into. What I think of POW IDO coming up really soon. I just think the cap table here, they've got some pretty good guys. It's probably going to blow up. Ape Terminal in there as well. Might want to definitely consider this. What I'm going into for the fun of it, for the story, and because it's got some potential is garbage. People say, Dusty, don't buy garbage. Well, I do. Again, I cannot guarantee you any results, but sometimes you got to wing it to be... <laughs> You know, you gotta throw it out there to win big. And again, you can watch this whole video within a couple of months from now and look back if these coins failed or, or did well. I'm investing in them, but you decide for yourself. I'm not trying to push anything. Last one is this one, Fame AI, I think also launching this week. If I'm not mistaken, potentially even tomorrow. Yeah, 24 hours left until this one launches over on Bybit apparently. Those are ones I'm looking into for right now. I think there might be more, but these are the ones I can remember for right now. So yeah, just giving you guys a heads up. Of course, I'm researching more projects all the time, but make sure you press the like button and let's go.